Hi everyone, it's Jim, the Iowa Tesla guy, back for another FSD beta video again. And this is another drive with 10.69.1.1. I'm gonna put it through its paces one more time. And this time I am headed across town to pick up a new pair of glasses and I am gonna see different types of driving situations. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. So let's go ahead and get started. Start by getting engaged with FSD. Here we go. Now, one of the things that I really like about 10.69.1.1 is the new visualizations. Um, there's new graphics. The, the images of the cars and trucks look more like cars and trucks. Um, the edges of the road seem a little crisper, a little more detailed, and that there's a new creep wall that uh, also comes up that gives you a visual indicator of how far the car is willing to creep toward traffic and that has been a real big issue for me because you just never know if the car is just going to go for it. And I guess you don't truly know now but the creep wall gives you at least a visual indication of at least the software of the car deciding this is as far as I'm willing to go. So we're going to be heading up to a right turn. This is actually one of the right turns that I make in one of my hard situation videos. This is a stop. The cross traffic is going 55 miles an hour. There is often traffic and a lot of times the car will just sit there and will not go on its own. So let's see what it does. We are pulling up to the line. Usually stops further away. We've got some cross traffic. We have that creep line you can see there, and it is going. Let's see if it gets up to speed relatively quickly. I'd like to see it accelerate a little faster since this is 55. But overall, I could tell by that creep wall that it wasn't just gonna plow out into traffic going 55 miles an hour. That actually, from a peace of mind perspective, was helpful. Coming up on some construction and this lane is closed and it should get over eventually uh, my last video it kind of did it at the bare uh, last the absolute last time it could possibly get over let's see what it does this time it is decelerating and it is just barely missing these cones to the point where it says, I don't have enough lane, I have to get over. We're now following some traffic through some new uh, stoplights that are going in and it's had an issue with these stoplights, it's still having a problem, it just doesn't know how to read them. It sees them as stoplights, but it can't figure out what the color is because there is no color and it is defaulting, I guess, to a safe position of, hey, if I can't read them, I'm gonna assume they're red, so I'm gonna slow down. And that's what it did, so I had to hit the accelerator a little bit in order to get it to go to the next step. All right, we're gonna be making a left-hand turn. It got over into that left turn lane really nicely. Had to adjust my navigation there a little bit. It actually was taking me to some other city that I don't know, so. Got that corrected, we are back on track, making a left-hand turn here. This is a four-way light. There usually isn't very fast light as far as turn lanes are concerned, what it does. We have an arrow. Very nice, very smooth turn, very human-like. I would definitely be okay with that turn with my grandma in the car. We're 
bring a yellow, which is going to a red. And now we have a green turn arrow, no real hesitation. Really nice, smooth right-hand turn. I'm really impressed with the turns in this version of FSD Beta. Um, really, really human-like, very, very smooth. It's been a major criticism of mine. Got some sweepers here that generally you need to slow down for a little bit on some of them. It just did there pretty drastically. Um, decided it needed to go down to 35 miles an hour really, really quickly. Just another slight deceleration to that turn that was appropriate. We're gonna have some rather tight turns here downhill situation cars following traffic does seem to be doing a decent job in slowing down when it needs to still hugs that center line a little tighter than I would want to I'm sure it's still technically on my side of the road big truck sweeper Sure, that truck wasn't very happy with not, me not getting over to the right hand side to give it a little more space. Technically, the car did what it was supposed to, but it wasn't exactly a nice thing to do. Okay, we're heading into town here and we're going to be making a left hand turn. Car visualization is just amazing just how much this car can see uh, in the parking lots and uh, it'll be pretty cool if in the future it started rendering buildings and a little more of a realistic view but we got a left turn yellow flashing which means we have to yield we're seeing that the car is trying to make a trying to figure out if it needs to be yielding I need to give it a little bit of gas to go here. Um, we got traffic behind me. It did make the turn relatively well once I did tell it to go. A um, little bit of apprehension there, a little more than I would like to see. Um, I'm sure it was trying to figure out just exactly what it needed to do. Overall, it did execute the turn safely, even though that may not have survived the, uh, the grandmother test. Nice stop and start at that green light, no hesitation. Um, I doubt anyone would have known that the car was actually driving in that situation. Got some stop traffic up here on the right. Destinations on the right it should get over at some point. Right, we've got a light here that is, for some reason, set up as a four way flashing. It's not normal, but it is something that happens that the car needs to be aware of. It's time to go. Man, I had to really force it through that stop. It did not want to go even after I tapped it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get over. It doesn't seem to be wanting to get over. It might be because it doesn't think it needs to turn. The destination here is on the right. All right, new glasses are obtained. What do you think? They are my first set of progressive lenses because yes, I am old. Um, we're gonna go ahead and head back to my place of business.
go and plug that in and we're going to see how FSD beta does for us on the drive back. So let's go ahead and back out of the parking spot here when it's good and safe and we will get started. Let's go ahead and give it a tap. And it's going to want to give it some gas. It doesn't really know which direction we're pointed. And that was a basic fail in FSD. I think it's mostly just because it wasn't sure exactly what direction the car was pointed in. So we're going to be basically making the same journey back in the other direction. Everything so far so good on this drive. Um, it has done some strange things in the past. We'll see if this version does it. We're going to be making a right-hand turn in a half a mile, but it seems to sometimes want to go ahead and get in the left lane for some weird reason. And I, there's some newer roads. This intersection has been remodeled, so perhaps it's the navigation messing some things up. So again, it's a signal thing to get over. It is getting over. I don't understand why it feels it needs to get over. I don't know if it's because the road is, is bending to the left a little bit. Um, I really don't know. But now it's got to figure out that it's got to get in the right lane. In fact, it's telling me you need to be in the rightmost lane in order to make this turn. So what's it going to do? Figure out that it needs to get over. It's got a bit of an opening here. Still on the left lane. Nope, I got to break out. We're going to actually go through this light. And uh, it really didn't know what to do there. It got in the second straight lane. It was really breaking. It was causing problems with traffic. So we're going to reroute and go back a different way. I'm re-engaging FSD here. This highlights what I believe to be still um, something that FSD could really improve on because it is, in my opinion, being crippled and held back by Tesla's navigation. The navigation is not up to date. If you're driving in a town that has had recent changes to the roads, even within the last couple of years, it'll even show up on Google Maps here, but the nav doesn't know it exists. And when it doesn't know it exists, then it has problems. Elon has said that there's gonna be versions that can, that can drive without any navigation whatsoever. Um, I think it was supposed to have been this version but it is clearly still relying very heavily on what it thinks should be there versus what it can actually see. And hopefully it'll get to the point where it can interpret an intersection even without having a, that navigation data there to support it. Got a bus here in front of us. It does see the bus. was showing that bus as a potential hazard. And it wants us to turn right here. And now it's saying get back over. That was a problem, Tesla. Uh, I didn't have to disengage. It figured it out that that wasn't the turn lane. This is the turn lane. And it got back over in the main lane uh, before uh, I had to disengage. Making the right hand turn very smooth right hand turn. Now in past versions, even standard autopilot, that car, that truck that just pulled out in front of me, even though it was fine, would have caused this car to absolutely flip out and stand on the brakes. And um, it, it would have been very unnatural. This version didn't do a thing. It was very humid. Clearly, I wasn't going to run into the truck. Um, there was time for the truck to get out of the way, and this version of FSD knew that and just kept right on going. Um, so very, very good job on this case. Very hard 
to slow down here. Not exactly sure why. It might be for the traffic ahead. It is 55 miles an hour here. Did uh, did hit the brakes pretty hard. This next section of the road is the same road that uh, I covered in my first drive for this version 10.69.1. And uh, there is road construction in the lane that I'm in. I'm going to have to get over to the left. And it waits until the absolute last minute moment to get over. And it does transition over to the other lane. Only when it determines that there isn't enough lane here left to get over. And there is a fair amount of traffic here. And um, I'm guessing it's going to try and do the exact same thing and it's gonna make some drivers to the left of me unhappy. And I apologize to the driver to my left ahead of time for what it is going to do, although it looks like we may have a slice of space for it to actually get over. Um, it's gonna have to start figuring that out here pretty quickly. It is signaling, and I did back off on that truck. So it is a little bit tight. It's slowing down in order to provide a little more spacing. That wasn't wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. So so far so good. Now I'm gonna have to give it a little gas, just like this last video where it didn't have an understanding of what that light was. It's a light that isn't functional, and it just saw a sign saying it's gonna turn on on September 13th. And uh, because it sees the light, it recognizes the light, it tagged the light, and, but it's expecting to see a color, it couldn't figure out a color. So it, I guess, defaulted to its safe state, which is I better slow down. And I had to override that with my foot. All right, we got a left-hand turn here. Cross traffic is 55 miles an hour. Just slow down a little more than I would like going into the turn. No traffic, all good. Slightly janky on that left-hand turn. Don't know if it was a little skittish because of that oncoming car, not knowing how far it was going to be uh, into the lane. Um, but so far, so good. A little bit of a hard break there for reasons that are unclear. And right now it's basically just a straight shot. So here is another full self-driving video of FSD 10.69.1.1 doing normal everyday things. Me driving cross country, cross town uh, to pick up a new pair of glasses uh, to then return back to work. And this is something that you do in normal activities, and this is a real-world example of just how well FSD works. It did 99% of all of the driving. Is it ready for robo-taxi? Absolutely not. I can't just get in and let it go. Is it ready for grandma to be happy with my driving 100% um, of the time? Absolutely not. However, there are good swaths of this drive that my grandma would have no idea that I wasn't driving. So that's my video. That's my uh, second drive on FSD Beta 10.69.1.1. I really hope the next version is version 11 and uh, we can just continue on from there. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Um, till the next drive, catch you later.